Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sashana. This is Dave. In today's video, we're going to be cooking or making Jamaican oxtails. If you watch my channel, you know that's my favorite meats. And if it's my favorite meats, <laughs> you know, I have to know how to cook it because who's gonna cook it, you know? Before Dave, like who was gonna cook it for you? <laughs> oh, before Dave? <laughs> In the times long past. Like, if you like it, what, what are you going to do? Go buy it every time? So, uh, we're going to be cooking Jamaican oxtails today. A disclaimer before we start the video. This is my way of cooking it or our way of cooking it. Because I I taught him the first time how to cook it. And you pretty much do sometimes your own little, mm -hmm. your own little touch. What I think will be helpful. Yeah. There are times when you cook it and I'm like... What did you put in there? <laughs> I just know it's not because what. I was trying more. I can't stop putting new things, different things. <laughs> the last time I, I think you put. Be better. What you, you put in there? Better. You put in there the last time some leaf. Was it bay leaf? Bay leaf or something? It's a bay leaf. Put a bay leaf I could there. taste it though. I knew leaf. he put something different in there because I could taste it. So yeah, I taught him how to cook it, and then he knows how to cook it on his own. He does his own little touches and stuff like that. So we're gonna just be making it. Just a, just and a the disclaimer touch. is what I was saying. Just disclaimer, a, this is our way of making it. Everybody cooks different. Everybody's household is different. You might cook it a different way. I honestly don't need your how to <laughs> cook it. If anything, this is a video for people who don't know how to cook it at all and want a uh, a, a recipe or just so no or just to see if you're just curious of how I cook it but yeah we don't need the this is not what you're supposed to do comments please thank you <laughs> Re please refrain from because regardless oh, I'm gonna do it how I how I love it you, I, this can is make, how... you can make your own video how right about that? right <laughs> So here we have all the ingredients that we need or I think we need like I said we add stuff sometimes so we have like regular all-purpose seasoning you need for sure browning sauce it's necessary it's absolutely necessary we have some allspice or also pimento necessary. necessary um seasonal what you think necessary? everything else maybe not so necessary but those two are necessary yeah oh definitely i would say this is necessary would, we never used to mm. use that we just found that yeah i guess so all right so oxtail seasoning um maybe we'll use obey we just had a debate uh, whether or not i would use it dave doesn't really necessarily mm -hmm. use it so if you don't want to buy this you don't have to buy this one or use it um some garlic powder ginger some and ginger. some What's this? This is your kind of seasoning. Soul seasoning. Some soul seasoning. And then just some beef bouillon. They would use something like that just in case. I have regular natural ginger, natural garlic, some pepper, some carrots, tomatoes, scallion. Necessary. Mm, definitely actually, scallion, definitely scallion. this is actually necessary. Sorry, but then, what you doing once, if you don't? Once, once you make it one time with that, <laughs> it becomes necessary. We never used to make it. Um, some thyme. We're gonna use broccoli for a veggie. That's not going in there. Some sweet peppers, and we're choosing between rice and what definitely, rice? Definitely the rice. Right. Either white or whatever, and then um, we just. Have potatoes to cut up in the oxtail to thicken the gravy is what jamaican people would do so that's the ingredients oh you see there's a difference i would just use cornstarch people use cornstarch too but i don't necessarily use cornstarch that much for sure like if you're making jamaican oxtails and you don't put a broad bean in there what are you doing like how you do that how does that work? Butter bean. You just Butter bean, there. broad bean. Everybody got Goya where they live, but there are other brands. Yeah. Um, so we're we gonna were, go. Well, we should tell the discussion we were having was we never used to make it with broad beans because she showed me the first time, probably forgot that they were in there. Yeah. And then I saw the videos and picked it up one time and added it to. And then now, now it's necessary. Once I ate it with the broad beans, it yeah. became necessary to have the broad How beans. How I forgot that. Oh, comment on. You don't have to get pepper. 
that looked like the hottest pepper in all the world that she got. <laughs> I don't know why she got the red ones. These look scary. The um, colored ones look like they were a little bit older. Um, Old, yeah. yeah. Those look fresh. Yeah, those look fresh. But the, and we're just using like a piece of it. Obviously, you need the main thing, the <laughs> oxtails. That's a little necessary. So, uh, one and a half pepper, maybe. I make it colorful, like this color. Can you grab me um, a sandwich bag and put the half in the sandwich bag? We just got done cutting everything, you would have seen in the B-roll, so everything is there. chopped up. Now we have the oxtails and I got them finely cut or small cut. Dave was um, what's it called? debating with me whether or not we should have gotten bigger pieces, but I think this is a nice size. Um, sometimes, to be honest, we do get bigger pieces, but it's fine. So we're going to get some vinegar and we're going to wash the meat in vinegar. Guys, pat your meat dry with like paper towel so that the seasoning can go on there properly. Dave taught me that. I never used to do that. All that water is in the bottom because sometimes it's hard to get real. Yeah. So like we dry it out with like some paper towel. It doesn't really like get under anything. You want to get something brown. Like a steak, or if you want to get the flavor from browning the meat. I never used to do that. You know, I never used to do that too, because like they used to tell, like in Jamaica, like if you have not in Jamaica, like I'll say specific to the people that I was raised around, mm -hmm. like when you're doing the seasoning, like they'd be like the water is the best part. Like when you throw the water in the meat, or that they'd be like, oh, that's the best yeah, part, you know. Yeah. So like that's why I never used to like dry it out because it's just like that's what they would say. Like the water is like gonna be well seasoned. But I, I think you still get you're still gonna get some water. But yeah. the, the less liquid you even have in there, mm -hmm. the less you put in, the more it's like concentrated. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Alright, so let's go with the seasoning. Alright, so guys, we're seasoning. Alright, so I would just like season the top half first and I'll just make sure everything is like has a nice amount. I season till my ancestors tell me to stop. That ginger went all, I don't know why that was doing that. I never used to have a problem. All right, so I just make sure that the seasoning is on all of the top half. And then I'm gonna use the garlic powder. So garlic powder all over, maybe not as much because since we're gonna put garlic in there, I might not use this a second time. That, and then seasonal, same thing, and then this thing that Dave uses. And then, and then the one I think is most necessary, the oxtail seasoning, just all over it. And I might not use the old bear. Should I? Mm -mm. Okay. No, no, no. So then, I would use my spoon, my wooden spoon, and just like, Flip it over. Turn it over. It would look good. And I'm just gonna make sure that the parts that I didn't get are the ones that are on the top. And I do the same thing with the the season. That's how I, this is my routine. Like the seasoning that I put over here is the ones I know I'm gonna coat it with again. And I'll just do the same thing again. I actually do the same similar thing. I put them all to one side and then back. Yeah. Just do a set coating and then... Lately I've been thinking I get tired of that and I should just mix up a big mix. Um, 
um, from the start. But how do you know like how much you want to use? I don't want it to be like crazy. Like this. I actually wait until I see everything is covered with the colors that I want. So that's how I do it. And like yeah, I just go just over eyeball. it like that. Yeah. And I've never been wrong so far. <laughs> some more ginger. And What'd then, you call me? Shut up. And then the same with the seasonal. Seasonal, I would use extra because. Right? And then I'll do the same thing with the spoon again. I mean, it looks like it's seasoned good. Mm -hmm. Let me get in there. Ooh, oh boy. Yeah. Good. Good. And then pretty much it's nice and coated like all over. Following that. And then now I'm going to put the browning on. This is going to probably require me to use some gloves. This part always messed me up. I always like, do not I enough and then put, too much. I usually try to put it in the cover. Like this is how like you don't want to go around. You can do the like eyeballing, but like if you want to make sure that you don't use a lot and then you just go like all over the meat. Huh, yeah, that was pretty perfect. Yeah. Well, now I know. And then if you want to, what's it called? Rinse out like the cap. put more, you can put more and then rinse out the cap. Yeah, cause you know it's going to get like really messy. Um, I want to see if this method with the spoon can do it, but usually I would just yeah. probably get some gloves. Get in there with your hands. Yeah, I'd get some gloves. I'm going to get a glove and then do it's it. It's actually, it's not working, it's not too bad. Yeah. yeah, that's what I usually do. I'm going to go in the pot anyways. And I think I want it to be a little bit darker. Yeah, I would say a little bit more. So I'm going to put, like, instead of one full cup, like, I'm going to do it like half of it. And then I'll do the same thing. Like just like it's gonna go all over. Cause that's the part of cooking that I don't really like, you know? I don't like touching the meat and i don't like rinse like i just don't like getting my hands like really messy especially because i always have nails on and that will make you really hate cooking like if you really just don't want your hands messy you can always use a spoon or a glove you know and then this is it for the the meat if you were doing chicken i would put like the pre-cut seasoning in there but because we're doing oxtail and this is gonna need to be cooked for quite some time i'm not gonna put some any other seasoning on there yet if anything maybe just garlic in the pot with the oil and then like pre-stir it like stir it and then cover the pot and then put the water on top and then let it cook because it's gonna take some time to cook so yeah that's what we're gonna be doing because otherwise everything else is kind of like all right, so we're using our, our Dutchie pot. A real Dutchie pot. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a test of like how hot the pot is. I'm just gonna put the garlic in. All right. Okay, so now, if you wanna move it further, I'm gonna put the oxtails in. Hold on, I'm gonna put them in without the water part the first. Tubs. Like you can literally throw the meat in and throw the water in immediately. 
but because I like to have like a little bit of texture on my meat, I'm just going to be doing it this way. And this is just estimate, like I, I guess it could be like two minutes at the bottom and then you can try to turn it over. Kitchen towel, I'm just going to carefully spin them. We're trying to get the ones on the bottom at the top. I have to be careful with this. I'm going to take the scratch you want to get them to realize. We're good. We're good. I think I'm going to do it this way. It's easier. Let's get this. Let's put them on there. Yeah. And then... I'm going to leave it like that, like you pretty much got, and it's, like I said, it doesn't really matter to do this part, it's just like to get a nice, like, this hard part here, like get a little texture on it, because it's going to be in the water for a very long time, and just like getting very soft. It should have a lot of flavor to it, to the soup part, like the little parts that get stuck to the bottom of the pan, too. Yeah. In this. Mm -hmm. So in this, this is the water from the oxtail. And then this is the same pan that you're gonna you're gonna throw this part in. Okay, so right. I'm gonna throw this part in. Mm. Turn the hot, and you're gonna rinse around the rim of your your pot that you had the oxtails in to get all that seasoning off. We need more, but we're gonna look what happens, like how much it adds to the. And for this, each step of the way, you just wanna make sure every oxtail is covered so I need some more water until like all my oxtails are covered and the, the parts that are not covered I'm just gonna what's it called push them in and that's what I would do and leave it now you're gonna leave this this probably can go 45 minutes like you want to check like maybe 30 minutes yeah that really should need a refresher course I guess okay so when it's like this is when I add my cover to it. Okay, so this is how it's looking a couple minutes after. It still needs to keep going. Also, please note that the water might run over if you cover the pot all the way. So sometimes at a certain point, you might need to take the pot cover off all the way. Or sometimes I do this like halfway like just have the pot cover on their half. This is where we're at with the oxtails. This is after I added, fill the pot with water three times already. So this is where we're at. And the meat is pretty much, I can stick my fork in it. So it's not really super soft, like falling off the bone yet. Yeah, you can see it start to pull away from the bone a little bit. Yeah, so at this point is when I'm going to add all my seasoning. And by the time this water goes all the way down, it should be like fully cooked, I'm thinking. If not, like I just add some more water and let it cook some more. But yeah, at this point is when I'm gonna start seasoning it to my liking. Usually takes out some of the cut up veggies to do the broccoli. So that's what he's gonna do. Here we go. Adding my tomatoes in. Adding all this goodness on top all of it in there there is all of the ginger scallions and garlic you also Dave cuts up his garlic this tiny so that you don't taste any of it or like it's all melted you don't have to cut those garlics up that fine like if you want to do them whole you can i'm gonna add some thyme and then i'm gonna add one pepper and i'm just gonna poke some holes in it and add it so then these i'm just gonna make a little circle 
so they stay on they don't have to stay on the top but like you don't need to turn them yet or anything still has ways to go before it's like done so they're just gonna stay on here and do their little thing and give the so that's that after this goes all the way down and the water thickens up we're gonna take we're gonna do a taste test and see if it's like how we like it and add whatever else we think we need to add to get it to our liking also we're gonna go ahead and cut up the potato and add the potato to it as well so the potato has enough time to cook since we have ginger already cut we'll use ginger garlic scallion we got some chili oil so we'll use some chili oil so we got to use it up anyway I'm tired of looking at it sitting around the house Extra good and spicy. Use some all purpose kind of stuff. And then I usually switch it up. Sometimes lemon pepper, sometimes soul seasoning. We got Old Bay today, so we'll give it some Old Bay, give it a little something different. And then maybe when it's done cooking, you squeeze a little fresh lemon juice over it or store bought lemon juice either way. Just to give it a little acid. But where we're at now, we're making the rice. We're making plain white rice with some seasoning like just regular like a little bit of flavor and we're gonna add the broad beans to the oxtail the oxtails look so good they're falling off the bone at this smell point good too. smell good we did a little taste test already tastes exactly how i wanted to taste and the broccoli is in the oven at 350 and we're gonna give it sometimes we turn it off and like even just the heat while everything else is getting um, cooked does the trick like I like my vegetables crunchy like I said so it's fine yeah we have the stove on low is the other thing the oxtail is on low the rice is on high right now until it gets to the point where it needs to just steam when all the water is out we're gonna put a bag over it and then cover the pot and let it do its thing stove on extremely low and that's how you cook rice water an inch over the rice and you get it perfect every single time and you only start when the water is like almost right out so yeah okay guys so look at this literally perfect literally literally, literally melt like literally 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 falling off melting off the bone perfect okay perfect and the liquid hold on before you add that the liquid is at the perfect place for it to just continue cooking so it's just like right by there. the time it gets to the final point it's gonna be perfectly cooked we're just adding the broad beans now so he took it out of the can rinse them. you rinse them mm -hmm. we don't normally rinse them but mm -hmm. it's whatever yeah I think sometimes people even throw the can right in there with Some all the water the juice to thicken it so. yeah I didn't know. That's what I asked you. You never had to rinse it. That's a whole other thing, rinsing it. <laughs> what? Anyway. They goopy sometimes. I gotcha. It's either you want goop or you don't want goop. But I guess you want some goop. Alright, so they're in there and they're doing their thing. Water is going to thicken up by the time it gets down. Meat is fully cooked. Taste test is perfect. Some sugar and some ketchup. I didn't mention that. But at the very last step, we add some ketchup to your liking. Let's add some ketchup and then we add some, I usually add like just a spoon full of sugar. And that should be good. And I usually start stirring from the middle. I think this is why this is because I don't want everything else to be all mushy. So I stir from the middle and try to like work it out and then like this pull stuff in. But oh my god, how good does that look though? Mm -hmm. And smells good. I know people do videos all the time and they're like, mmm, smells so good. Mmm, looks so good. <laughs> but i'm not exaggerating and it's like my favorite meat so it's like wow everything turned out perfectly guys thank you so much for watching i hope you learned something 
Um, yeah. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Turn your post notifications on so you'll get notified whenever I post. And yeah, that's it for the video. Bye. Thank you.